Hi there, this is Chase Murphy, a senior consultant with ProVal Tech, and I'm here today with a video about Ninja RMM and how to do software deployments and or software upgrades using the inbuilt Winget package management or Ninja One package management inside the product. So let's get into it. Uh, so first off, you will need to be an administrator for this, just as a note, and you will need access to get into the policies. You will also need to make sure that the Ninja One Winget third-party app is installed. If you don't have this here and enabled, you might need to add it from their app area in the upper right. Uh, once that is enabled, you'll be able to leverage the Winget package management directly inside of your policies. To do so, we'll head over to the agent policies. We're just gonna jump into our standard Windows Workstations one. And then inside of the actual policy, you head down to the software area. Inside of here, this is where you can look at some of your software options. Number one is turning on or off the entire software feature. Uh, you can set up some reboot options as far as what to do if a user is logged in or not logged in. You can have the machine scan throughout the day to check for new software updates. You can update the actual schedule when it will occur, when updates will actually happen on the endpoint. And then it will show you if there's any up overrides or uh, any rejected patches. Inside of the actual software area, this is where you can see the actual packages that are set up to either update, install, or whatever's going on with them. In this case, all we have right now is Bluebeam and Chrome. Uh, we can see here that they have, we have two different Ninja sources, one for, or one, two different sources, one from Ninja, one from Winget. And we're automatically approving any critical patches. We are manually uh, approving any recommended patches and we are not installing if the software is not present. So those are the available options when you're working through this. So for our example today, let's go ahead and we'll add a piece of software using the button on the right and let's just keep it simple and look for Firefox. Uh, we can see Mozilla Firefox is on the list and from the source Ninja One, there's also a Winget version of Firefox as well. Um, our best practice so far has been to use the Ninja One source when possible, uh, as Ninja One can help support that if there's any issues. Uh, so we can click on that and add it. That will put it on the list for us. Then if we wanted to change the behavior on this, we could actually use the ellipses actions menu on the right, hit the edit, and there we can decide, all right, we're gonna automatically approve critical patches. We're gonna automatically approve recommended patches. And then we would say, let's go ahead and make sure Firefox is installed just for our testing here. Once you save this, you have to hit the save in the upper right and the policy will go live. You can do this for any amount of the packages available in the Winget and or Ninja One sources here from the software library. Uh, you can see there are about 6,000 packages that they can help monitor, manage, and upgrade. Uh, so that is how you can set up a basic software deployment for a package that's inbuilt inside of Ninja One or Winget. If you have any questions, please hit us up in the chat below. We'll try to release videos every week. Thank you.